Hi everyone and welcome to Wellness Wednesday, um, the hashtag Wellness Wednesday and I am so happy to have you here today and I hope if everyone is uh, out there doing the Wellness Wednesday that you made some strides whether it was giant steps or like me baby steps um, we're still moving in the right direction and still there to encourage one another so I just want to tell you what's been going on with me this week so again you know I did uh, my sciatica uh, from last week is still not doing good. I still can't stand up straight. I'm still walking like a corkscrew and I try to do a little bit of arm weights and things during the week but just kind of like moving things around and going out it, I could still feel it in my back so I decided to give my back a complete rest this week and I didn't try to do any of those exercises at all. I still do still did do my under desk elliptical at work like today I pedaled for 7.2 miles so um, I think I'm still keeping up with that that's not really hurting my back when I come home um, I tried to do the treadmill one night and just the standing up and walking I could feel it pulling in my back so I didn't do any of that this week just uh, yeah so that was the only exercise I did this week was my under desk elliptical um, water again I didn't drink any water at work because um, yeah I can't get up and just walk to the ladies from when I have to because of my back so um, no fluids at all during the day at work which really kind of makes you really hoarse when you're talking on the phone all day and you don't have any water but anyway that kind of helps me stay at my desk and yeah so that's one of those things uh, for stress relief so I did to start the reading last uh, week and the first night was really really hard for me I think I I might maybe did one maybe two paragraphs at the most I, I just couldn't do it the second night I said I got to try to get this done I got to try to power through it so I grabbed the book and I went downstairs and I pulled up my office chair downstairs and I put it by the hospital bed and I read out loud because I always used to sit by Rick's bed and uh, when he wasn't able to really get up anymore and I would just read to him because he liked to be read to and talk to even if he didn't because he, he you know was had the dementia um, he didn't always understand what I was saying but he liked the sound of just a voice or something so and yeah so I actually read a chapter I actually read two chapters that night so I was really it was really good and it was just maybe just being being there I just felt like I was with him you know and reading and it just kind of felt natural the third night I read in my own bed and I did a chapter so I was really happy about that and I've been able to read um, a chapter every night after I go to bed I've been shutting YouTube off about 1130 and I kept up with that all week so I'm proud that I did that because that is hard because I want to get caught up but I feel like it's I'm putting too much stress on myself um, so 1130 every night right around 11:30, I would shut my computer off and get ready for bed and get my lunch and stuff done and then go and read and that really helped another thing that I did to help with my stress relief is and you're gonna call me crazy but I would take my, my notebook from from our work and I would keep it right here next to me and I would think about what didn't I finish today who didn't I email who did I owe a quote to who did you know and I would just kind of write all these things down things that I didn't think I didn't sometimes I really did do them but I forgot that I did them so I would have this list of things that I didn't think I did or things that I missed or things that I should look for to make sure I got done the next day and then I would start another list of things that I wanted to do the next day like I've got some machine folders check on you know check on this machine check on that machine when when is it shipping do I have paperwork in order and I would just kind of keep these lists going all night long about what I had to do and then I would log on to work and I would try to do some emails and things like that and it's like so so I had said the week the week before I stopped checking my emails and stuff once I came home that was it but I still kept my list going so after last Wednesday I decided I'm going to try not to do that and you know and I thought that was going to help with my stress uh, a little bit not worrying so much about it at work the next day that oh I'm getting all caught up I'm getting this done but it just gave me stress at home um, yeah and then I would still have to worry about all those things that I put down on my list so I stopped doing that last week and I feel so much better so once I come home I'm, I'm just kind of shutting work off 
I think it's different if you're an owner or like a principal of the company that you can't really always separate the two. But for me, where I'm an employee, I think it's important for my stress that I need to separate that and not be concentrating so much at work. And um, well, I need to concentrate at work, but I don't need to be concentrating about work at home. Alrighty, so uh, that said, and um, yeah, so closing time is five o'clock at work, but the guys call me up until seven, eight o'clock at night, and because they want me to order things for them, and you know, if I'm at work, I can order it, but it's not going to go anywhere because our vendors are closed, and I can't quite seem to get them to know that. So anyway, I give them 45 minutes. If they call me after 5:45. I haven't been answering their calls. They can go to voicemail or they can shoot me an email and I will take care of it in the morning because I can't do anything about it that night. And I don't want to listen to them moaning to me about, I need to get it ordered. I need to get it there tomorrow because I can't, it's out of my hand. But that just kind of put more stress on me, having these guys kind of yelling at me to get something done that I can't because the vendor's closed and there's nothing I can do about it. So. That got rid of my stress right there. You know, I'll see that, you know, and I'll just have to ring her off. Sometimes I just shut my cell phone off too. So yeah, which which is bad because, then, you know, the girls are calling me when I get home and I miss it. But I'm not missing um, that added stress that the guys are putting on me at work. So I think that's helping a little bit more. I got a new exercise outfit in today from uh, my Ellie collection. So I'm really looking forward to uh, getting some more um, exercise outfits and just kind of feeling good about exercising and yeah just enjoying stress-free life so whatever we have to do it's what we're doing you know and it's not like I said it's not all about diet it's not all about exercise for me and I didn't realize how much stress I was putting on myself by taking work home every night but yeah I feel so much better so anyway I hope everyone is out there doing well and I look forward to seeing and hearing how you're doing on your journey. And yeah, so we will chat again next week, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.